What is going on everybody? In this video, I want to go over what I think is one of the most underrated plays in Madden 18, and that is deep outs from the single back spread formation. Now, this play got a little bit of notoriety after Tweez made his run in the Madden Classic earlier in the year using his single back spread attack. But since then, the West Coast playbook has definitely caught on throughout the community. A lot of people are running it, mainly for the gun bunch. So a lot of people don't use the single back spread formation, and as a result, they don't call this play. So I'm Wild was using it in the Jacksonville Club Series a decent amount, and I know he labs with Tweez and those guys, so it's not a surprise to see him running the single back spread as well. And I thought he put on a good show of kind of how effective this play is. And really, it, the, the play design is super simple. You have, you know, a high-low over the middle between the left slot receiver running a post and then the right slot receiver running a shallow crosser. So you get that high-low. But then I think that is what makes the play. But then what puts the play over the top is really these stock, basically hot-routed out routes on the outside of the field. And the reason is because, I mean, those routes are very, very simple, but I think it matches up well against the meta. The meta right now is a lot of those cover three, you know, a lot of three, four odd a crossfire style blitzes where people run three deep shells and those interior linebackers who are trying to shoot out there to guard the flats can't get out there quick enough. Um, so Tampa 2 does match up well against the out routes because the cornerbacks are already out there. But then also, if you're running a Tampa 2, a lot of people like to just delegate the entire middle of the field for their user. They're confident in their user skills, but you can't do that against this play because you either have to pick between guarding the shallow. You get caught in a high-low as a user defender. You get caught between, you have to pick the high-low, either the short crosser or the deep post. And then whichever one you pick, either your opponent can stay patient in the pocket and deliver the ball to the other one, or because it's single back spread, a lot of people do this with, you know, mobile quarterbacks, as you see right here, I'm wild with Michael Vick. And a lot of people don't have QB spies on the, on the field. It's very easy to just step up in the pocket since you're under center and take off running as soon as your opponent jumps one of the routes. So I just think it matches up very well against the kind of defensive meta that is in place right now. So I just wanted to show you guys a few examples of that from the Jacksonville Club Series. So right here, Wild playing against a Vegas Sal here in the first round. And you're really going to see, snap of the ball, you see three deep shell crossfire look from Sal. And what you see is Wild initially, he's got the out route on the left side of the field. So X is wide open right now. He could deliver that ball if he wanted to. And then he's going to have the high-low coming over the middle of the field right there. Sal goes for the short crosser. Wild sees it and delivers the deep post to John Ross over the middle of the field for a gain of, you know, 20 yards. So that's kind of the power of the high-low, even though he had the out route on the outside. Now, he runs it again right here. Next play, in fact. So you're going to see, once again, single back spread. Crossfire this time. Sal sends six to try and get the pressure there. And what that's going to do, he's going to have both out routes now on each side of the field wide open to deliver the ball, you know, as soon as they cut. Now, Wild, I think, tunnels a little bit too much on the high-low. Sal does a better job of peeling off the short crosser and making it less tempting to throw that deep post, and Wild ends up taking the sack right there. And then Wild actually comes back to it three plays later on third and 19, and what you're going to see, Sal, once again, sends six, drops into some type of cover four style shell, and Wild this time, Discipline, hits the out route, make it a fourth and five, fourth and manageable. And I think he ends up picking up that first down and going down and scoring a touchdown on his first drive of that game. So as you can see right there, just matches up very well against that 3-4 odd crossfire setup. And then right here, once again, against a Rosie in the finals, he ran it a decent amount of times. So you're going to see second and 10 early in the game. Rosie sends seven. And he drops into like a Tampa 2. So basically, Sin 7 has two deep safeties and two flat zones. And Wild was not able to get the ball out in time. Mike Vick actually breaks a sack, but then a second guy comes through. So that is a way to kind of combat this play is send the house and hope they can't make a quick read or hope, you know, stick on that short, shallow crossing receiver since that's really the only route that develops as soon as the ball is snapped. Um, that would probably be maybe your best bet in defending this. But... Um, as you can see, I mean, the routes are open. The, the routes the routes definitely get open on this play. Once again, later on in the game, Wild runs it again. Rosie staying in that cover three style, um, or this time rather, Rosie in that cover three style crossfire. 
And Erosi was actually doing a good job of mixing up between, he was running crossfire, but he would mix up his covered shells. He would go cover two sometimes and then cover three the other times. Uh, that's the benefit that this year's defensive hot routes give you, a lot more adaptability um, and variability in those you know defensive zones. But right here, once again, you see Erosi actually has a guy out there, but in this style defense, this 3-4 odd, this guy is coming from, you know, right here, right off the defensive end. He's the left outside linebacker. He just doesn't get out there quick enough. And Wild delivers the out route. Wild also had the left out route wide open, as you guys can see. And he had the high-low working over the middle of the field. And if he wanted to, he could have stepped up in the pocket and ran with Mike Vick. So just a plethora of options with this play. <clears throat> and that makes me think that it's just very, very overlooked and underrated since I think it's definitely, I mean, Tweez kind of showed you, you can definitely build an offense out of the single back spread. And I think this play can definitely be uh, the cornerstone of that offense later on in the game here. Third and five, a Rosie once again sends the crossfire. And as you can see, Tampa two shell. So like I talked about earlier, the Tampa two shell going to do a good job of taking away those out routes. As you, as you can see, cornerbacks all over those out routes. You see the two deep safeties and a Rosie has delegated himself to usering the middle of the field. So what he's going to do most likely is user the shallow cross and then kind of trail off of him as the Y receiver develops his route and break on that. In this case, Wild could have either stayed patient in the pocket since he picked up the blitz and just thrown to whichever crossing route a Rosie didn't cover, or he's got Michael Vick. He could have very easily just taken this running lane and pick up picked up the first down. Instead, Wild actually went with the high point pass to John Ross on the post route, and he actually ended up catching it. So that was pretty lucky for Wild, unlucky for Erosi. But as you could see, Wild definitely had the options there on the play to easily pick up that first down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what I can do better for future videos, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.